Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Before we get into this video, I'm just going to say thank you guys so much for all the views and likes and comments you guys have been leaving me. I really appreciate it. It really helps the channel grow, and I am very thankful to you guys. Thank you so much for that. And I also want to say, um, as, an, as a side note, uh, for people that comment and leave very helpful suggestions or hints or tips for other players, that is awesome. I really appreciate that. It really helps the community out. So thank you guys, an extra thank you guys for that. Um, but anyway, let's get in this video. We're going to be covering ledge trumping and how to ledge trump like a pro. So a lot of people know what ledge trumping is, but it's just one of those things where you don't see it very often unless it's at a very, very high competitive kind of game. And that is because though people know what it is, it's a little bit difficult to pull off in a game. So I'm going to show you guys what it is, and I'm going to show you kind of cheap tricks and ways to do it, and I'm going to explain to you why you're going to want to do it. So here's what a ledge trump is. It's basically when you walk up, or run up really, to the ledge, and you're going to try to snap onto it. So here's what it will look like. Very, very simple. Now, there's another way you can do it to where you can actually, this is the cheat way basically, uh, you can jump and just try to grab like that, or you can fall off and try to jump into it. Uh, even then, that's still not very consistent for me, I guess. But yeah, that's what it is right there. Um, the reason why I call those cheat ways is because it's very, it's much easier in my opinion. However, I don't know if you're going to want to do that every time if you're going to attempt a ledge trump, mainly because it's very easy to punish. You give up your jump while you're doing it. It's just kind of scary. So if your opponent catches on that that's what you're attempting to do to them, there's a good chance you can get punished and spiked down or stage spiked or whatever, you know. You're basically going to be leaving yourself wide open. So be very, very cautious if you're going to do the cheat way. There also is another way to do it where you can basically run off and the snap isn't instantaneous. If you're doing that, just know that you're not actually uh, ledge trumping properly. You are ledge trumping technically, but you're not doing like the best possible way of ledge trumping. It's basically going to look like you're going to slowly grab the ledge, and while it is doing it, you need to make sure that you snap on very, very quickly to avoid your opponent um, actually hitting you while you're trying to ledge trump. And even then, you saw me miss ledge trump right there. It's very difficult to do this all the time consistently, just because it's kind of hard. So I'm going to explain to you guys exactly how to do it. Essentially, what you're doing is you're running to the right or left, whichever one you're trying to grab onto. You're running over there, and then you're going to hit the stick down as you're about to fall off, pretty much as you are falling off. You're not going to want to hit it down over here. You're going to want to hit it almost right here to where you can grab the edge still. And then you're going to cut the stick hard to the direction of the stage. So let me show you guys what that looks like. So we got our run, our down, and our grab. Okay? Just like that. Now, a lot of people might be thinking, like, well, why would I want to do that? Why? What's the point of, like, actually trying to do that? Uh, there's a really good point. I'm going to show you guys really right here. Before I uh, show you, let me explain to you what it really is doing. So when your opponent is off stage, especially if they're really far off stage, like this Falcon right here, they're going to have to grab ledge if they want to recover. However, if you do this beforehand, um, you're already on stage where you can hit them low, which I guess that's an option. Or if they grab ledge and you were able to ledge trump almost immediately after they grab, it forces them off ledge takes away their um, invincibility that they basically got when grabbing ledge and then you are then able to actually strike them despite you already having invincibility so it pretty much puts you in the best possible point to uh, counter them which is really really good and to top it off if you can't strike them if they try to re-grab ledge their invincibility frames will be gone meaning it's just like a re-grab and you can punish them twice as hard. So it's really, really good. So I'm gonna try to show you guys this. I'm not so great when it comes to ledge trumping with um, when someone's grabbing ledge. I don't know why. I can do it very, I guess kind of consistently if there's no one on ledge, but I'm gonna attempt to show you guys right here. Hopefully we can do it. Yep, there it is. And then you can just punish accordingly. So anyway guys, uh, I'm gonna hopefully put some kind of directions in the description below if this wasn't enough for you guys so if this kind of confused you to a point feel free to check that out um i might also actually put directions within the video so you guys can see just what i'm talking about with the control stick but that is it i hope this video was helpful for you guys hopefully you can incorporate it into your own games and thank you guys so much for watching